What's up, guys? All right, so, um, you know, we talk a lot about tapering off Suboxone. Um, what we don't talk about much is increasing it and um, should you increase your dose. Now, the reason we don't talk much about that is because usually when people are stabilized, you don't have to increase the dose. Um, and I also don't want this video to seem like an excuse for people just to take a large amount or whatever. And there's lots of different opinions on what way large amount is. You know, um, and there will be people who always argue that you should never have to take over a certain amount or whatever, okay? But as, if you watch many of these videos, you know that um, my philosophy, because everybody is so freaking different, man. People have different things going on in their life, different circumstances. People have different metabolisms. Um, you know, so just to say that everybody should follow one rule does not make logical sense, okay? So throw that out the gate. Now, uh, just thinking about uh, the patients I saw today, I increased two people's medications. Now, when somebody comes to me and they say, hey, I doc, I need to increase my uh, Suboxone. And when I say Suboxone, obviously I'm talking about buprenorphine products for medication assistance for opiate dependence. Um, and so Suboxone, Subutex, Zubsolve, any of those type medications, right? So they say, I, I feel like I need to increase. Well, we basically just have to have a conversation, right? I have to figure out, all right, well, why do you think that? Because sometimes what they're feeling as cravings may not actually be cravings. It may be more of like an anxiety or maybe it's fatigue. You know, they just don't feel like they have any energy. And, you know, some of these people are coming from a serious drug use background. And so their answer to everything is more drugs. Um, now, what's impressive is that they're asking me about it and not just doing it themselves, although many times people come to me after the fact, they've taken more than they were supposed to and they ran out, which is a bad sign, but you know it's kind of nature of the beast, I guess, um, but not something that I like to see for my patients because I like to have conversations with people and I like to know what's going on and why people are doing what they're doing. And a lot of times, if we can just have the conversation about why they think they need a higher dose, many times they come to the realization that they don't, that the answer is not in more of the medication because the medication itself is doing exactly what it needs to do. There may be other things in their life that they need to tweak or adjust, um, and then they wouldn't feel like they needed more medicine, okay? So that's one, th one thing. Now, some people do need more medication, and one of the people that I increased their dose today is because they're having surgery this week. And so I gave them extra medication because they do not want to take pain pills. So they are going to um, take their medicine until the surgery. Whatever they need in the hospital, they will get. And for post-op pain control, they're going to just basically take their Suboxone. Um, and I think this will work well for them. You know, they will probably take a little Tylenol, some ibuprofen with it and uh, be just fine. Doesn't mean they, are they gonna be completely pain-free? No, they're gonna hurt, but guess what? If they were taking uh, Lortab or Percocet, they would have hurt as well. You know, it wouldn't be like it's gonna, it would completely take their pain away. So that's one reason we will sometimes increase uh, medication. Now the hope will be that uh, the next time they come in, they'll be through that post-operative um, time period and we'll be able to reduce the meds again. I gotta turn my heat down, man. I got this heat cranking and I'm about to sweat. All right. So I had another patient though who uh, has been clean since I've seen them and you know since we started them on treatment they've done really well. And they but they have constant cravings. Um, they're, you know, they've got a job, a stable job, and a family, and very concerned about relapsing, and 
I'm not saying that's the only reason we would ever increase, but that was um, in working through some issues with the patient. I did decide that it would be better to increase their dose at this point, even though they'd kind of, you know been on the same dose for several months. And so usually at that point, people are stabilized. But because of some of the issues that they're having, decided to increase their dose. Um, and of course, I will see them back. Uh, with close follow-up, we'll make sure they're tolerating, make sure they're not having side effects, make sure that this is actually, uh, you know, doing what it needs to do. So, because if I see them again, they're like, if I got them on what I feel like is a, a maximum appropriate dose and they're still having severe cravings, then the answer is not necessarily more medicines. It goes back to the first problem. There's something else going on that we need to address, you know. And this is why it's so important that recovery uh, is an active process, you know, you're constantly, you know, assessing the situation um, and evaluating and, and making adjustments. And then um, you can't just be fixed. You can't just assume that because you're taking a pill, you're going to be fine. You've got to be vigilant. You know, you've got to remove triggers for use. You've got to work as hard as staying clean as you used to work to find pills. That's how hard you got to work. And if you do that, I, you know, I just, I really think you'll be successful. Um, it doesn't mean you'll be perfect. It doesn't mean that you won't have uh, problems. But man, life can be tough. But through suffering comes growth. Through growth, you find your new potential, man. So guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions, concerns. Talk to your doctor. Remember, this is not medical advice. This is just a conversation. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.